Hello, welcome to Top Table Duels. Thank you so much for joining me this afternoon. Today's video is going to be a ranked best of three fan submission duel, and it's going to be up here in the blue. We have Starzard at 1100, who's going to be playing a sprite deck, and we have Dawn 180 at 866, who's going to be playing an Ashizu tournament down here in the red. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and kick it off. So Don's immediately going to activate his Sharon, probably ditching, okay. Doesn't ditch the Kelbeck, instead ditches into the Havness. Okay, and he hits an Herald, and obviously the Havness that he got from Fect. So Star's Art is going to chain Jewish Worm on the Havness, shut that down. Now we're going to activate Perlino. Probably going to grab ourselves the Rhino Heart, the only one we don't have yet. Normal Summon Rhino Heart, activate Effect, sending down the Sharon. Round two for Fusion, and that's going to go through. Star's Art's going to allow it. And we are going to special summon to our Kikalus. Kikalus effect to add the Sulik. And then add its own effect to pop itself to special summon the Murley. Murley and Havnus activate. Let's go ahead and mill eight. And off the top we find... We find a Mudora, a Kelbeck, a Sharon, which I've been used, and another Murley. So now we get our Murley effect as well as our Kelbeck mill. Should he choose to use it. He's not going to use the Kelbeck. He's not going to give his opponent... Any additional resources because at this point he's used all three of his fusion effects he's now gonna link two off to go into the elf activate elf effect bring his hair of orange light out so now he has a tuner on board okay very interesting bring out the herald and then he's going to set the silic and pass turn Starzard thinks uh, going into main phase one, it's allowed. And he's going to normal summon the frog. Uh, swap frog is going to be allowed to send another swap frog from deck to graveyard. And then Don is going to activate his elf. Hit the Merly. Merly's effect will activate. And he's going to literally hit all three names. What? I mean, wow. Look at that. Look at that consistency. So he hits the Rhino Heart, the Happiness, as well as the Sheeran. Let's see what he does here. He has the ability to go to Collide a Heart as well as a Kit Kados with everything he has in Graveyard. And Starzard's going to allow this. All right, so now we have all three beautiful fusions on board. Kit is going to activate her effect. Collide a Heart's going to activate his effect. And the Perlino is going to activate their effect. I didn't see what that last one was. Uh... Don't know. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, he's just gonna he's gonna pop off all those, and Starzard is gonna say, mm, "That's enough for me. Um, too much playing on my own turn." Uh, Don one eighty. I mean, hitting all three names in a row like that just ooh, Yugi Moto couldn't have wrote that better himself. All right, Starzard is gonna start his main phase one in game two with a pot of prosperity. Sending six from the extra deck, and off the top he finds a two fragrances, an impermanence, a beaver of dupe, and a blue. He's, uh, man, I mean, at this point, yeah, you need the blue to go into engine. Yep. Normal the swamp, special the blue, because at that point you've got nothing else going on. Little does he know, Dawn is sitting on an infinite impermanence. So far, his effect is allowed to go, so he sends the swap to Graveyard. He's going to special on the blue. Blue's effect will activate, and Don will allow that. Always remember that we do have game state knowledge. Um, little does Don know, had he hit that, that wouldn't have ended the turn, but it would have been really impactful. Um, but as always, you do what you can. So Don is going to hit the Jet when Jet hits the field. So he is not allowed to get his Smashers or his Starters. But this means he still gets to go into a double negation here. As well as the Ash Blossom he has in hand. So, he's going to link off into Sprine, send the Nimble Angler, and get himself two Nimble Beavers. Nimble Beaver. And then he's going to exceed the two Beavers into a gigantic Sprite. Activate Sprite's effect to special summon the Red. No, he goes for Iperia. Okay. Interesting call. Iperia allows himself to draw. And he's going to get the carrot off the top. 
think maybe red in play probably would have been better there. I mean, he did get he did draw into the carrot, uh, but instead of hoping and praying for luck, I think I'd probably have gone for the negate instead. So he's gonna link those two off, get into a sprite elf, sprite elf's effect, special summon out the swamp, and then go into his toad. So he could have been sitting on a monster effect negate as well as a toad. Obviously, toad is not protected here. Uh, because it's not under elf um, so not not the most optimal play I'm gonna stick with saying that I think carrot would have been better he I mean red would have been better he didn't know he's gonna get carrot either so either one of them would have been a better play starter is gonna activate effect and does he play he does play the dupe we already knew that because we saw it off the pot my man stars are right, good job playing the dupe it's the right call so Don is going to go into his main phase one activate Taylor and Sharon and that's going to be met with an Ash Blossom, which will be met by a call by the grave. And Carrot here will go ahead and say no to that. He's going to send the... Okay, it's interesting that he sends the the dupe there. I mean, that's fine. I mean, realistically, you want Sprine to stay online. So, so now Don is going to activate Triple Tactics Talent. And he's going to say, I'm going to activate the effect to take. That is going to be met by a Toad. So now Starzard's got two Triple Tactics Talent. Two is better than one, but not on the hard ones per turn. Toad is going to activate effect in Graveyard, give himself the Nimble Beaver, so at least he has some sort of start-off play on the next turn. And now Dawn is going to activate another Triple Tactics Talent. It says you can only activate one per turn, but Toad negates activation. It's not a use card. I always remember that. If a card said you can only use it once per turn and it gets negated, you can't try again. But if it says you can only activate once per turn and you gets the activation gets negated, you can try again. So, Don is now going to say, I'm going to draw two, and then he's going to activate the Midora, the Sword Oracle, Oracle in hand, and then he will normal summon the Sharon. I'm guessing at this point, yeah, he tries to go into battle phase, Elf will activate, getting himself the Iperia back. No matter what he targeted there, Midora was going to be able to clean that up. Goes into battle phase, swings over the Sprind, swings over the Elf. And now we have a subject. It goes into the Time Thief here. Oh no, he goes into Baguska instead, not the Time Thief. Okay, that is a that is a smart play. You know he's got the triple tactics in the back row. Um, because at that point Time Thief would become an issue because you have to play through in battle phase, which he could get the negation up. Starzard says, banish it, let's go. Okay. So Starzard basically says, hey, I have to pass my turn. There's nothing I can do about that. So Baguska the Terribly Tired tap here, making everyone fall asleep, keeping everyone alive. All right, Don's going to go into his new turn after putting Baguska to attack position. Normal summons the Merle, activates effect to mill three, and that is met by an Ash Blossom. So Baguska's going to swing over our carrot. Merle's going to swing in for a hard-hitting 800 points. And now he is going to go into his Zeus play. Okay, so what do we do here? He has the TTT. Playing on two of them. He's going to normal summon his beaver. Beaver's effect to activate. Going to get himself either another beaver or his angler. What do we think it's going to be? Goes for the angler. All right. Definitely has more damage on board. Get those extra 200. All right, thinking, thinking. So he's going to link those two off into a Sprite Elf. Sprite Elf's effect will activate. And he's going to go for the... It looks like he selected Jet on that, but that's going to be met by an infinite impermanence. And now Zeus will activate. Sending everything, and Merle's effect will activate. So now we can get try to get into a Kit Kalos on the field, but that is going to be met with a Sarnir. And little as you know, Triple Tactics Talent is live in hand. He's going to say, I'm going to go ahead and take that. He's going to swing in for 5,500. Link those two off. To get himself a Dark, he's going to activate Sarnir. Does not activate Sarnir. Activates the Dark. Gets himself a Sheeran on the play, but that's going to be met with the Mudora. Sets his Anti-Spell Fragment. Activate Anti-Spell, but that is probably going to clear things up. Because Don... 
Top decks into the Rhino Heart. Rhino Heart sends the Sheeran. Sheeran's effect will activate. Now we're going to see our full Kit Kalos play here. Kit Kalos effect. Activate. Grabbing them early off the top. Yep. Get ourselves a solid mill eight so we can get fully into engine here. Doesn't want heart of the cards. He wants to see everything. All right. So after he hits uh, two, uh, sorry, he hits one uh, uh, tier limit name as well as the Kelbeck. So he knows that he's going to be able to get at least two more effects that he is not going to be able to come back from that with just one card and he scoops it up. So let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below. I know we've seen a lot of tier and Shizu, but as always, if you guys send in replays for me, I do want to showcase uh, what you all are playing and how you all are playing it. I do appreciate that. Let me know in the comments below what else you would like to see. And as always, I will catch y'all next time. Thank you for watching. Try some of these other great duels. If you like what you saw, give us a like and subscribe.